Candy Popper is a fast action touchscreen game that rewards every player with actual candy or a prize. Candy Popper invites the players to touch the screen to see peppermints become ladybugs or apples, road signs, red skulls. Bubble gum becomes pink pigs or lightning strikes, satellites, elephant balloons, falling gum bombs, and other surprising results. Candy corn can become rockets, pumpkins, amoebas, racing cars, helicopters, and other shapes as well. Taffy can become magic eight balls, sea turtles, garden snails, UFOs, spinning atoms, and other surprising shapes. The smallest candy, the hot dot, becomes flaming skulls, Laughing devils, atom bombs, flaming pumpkins, biohazard signs. The candy getting level is the bonus level of the game. It's difficult even in easy mode. There are hot dots in the other candies. Sometimes they're hard to see, sometimes they're hard to touch. So the candy getting level is not easy at all. Candy Popper contains 78,125 different character combinations. At the end of each game, you'll see a metric that will show you how much candy you earned, and then the candy is dispensed. At the very end, you're able to put in a persistent initial selection showing your particular three initial code, and that allows us to have a persistent bonus screen. These screens show different outcomes from each of the levels. So when I mentioned that the candies can become different objects, this shows that in fact they do, and that there are more objects they can become, which is what we can show here. One of the best features of this can be that the player can decide to go to the candy get in level, but they can also forfeit their candy and go for a mag stripe gift card prize instead of the candy. This challenges the player, and it also makes it more replayable. This is the actual working prototype of Candy Popper. It's in San Diego, and it actually allows you to put coins in the game, and play the game, and then have candy, in this case, marble, uh, dispensed. So it is actually working correctly. It's working right now. All it needs is a final design in order to make the game more durable for testing. Candy Popper can be customized for any location or an audience. We just need to change the artwork. So it could become really great for almost any occasion. <laughs>